What's up, Raiders? I'm Joey Pellucci. And I'm Riley Weibel. This week, we have a look at the opening night of the spring musical, a look into some fundraising going on around campus, and a brand new Raider Sports update with a story on your varsity baseball team. All that and more this week on RJTV. Tonight is the opening night for the spring musical, Little Shop of Horrors. That's right. They take the stage tonight at 7, Saturday at 7, and Sunday at 2. The tickets are only $5. So what are your plans tonight? I think I'm going to go watch the musical. You all better be there. And here's a trailer from Aiden Garver for you to see more from the musical. Looks great. Can't wait to see it. Next up, we look at some fundraisers happening on campus. First up, the Souls for Souls drive is happening in the GD Glass Box and BD Tradition Hall. Here's Bree Hall and Caroline Watson with more. Hi Raiders, I'm Caroline Watson. And I'm Bree Hall, and we are here to encourage you to bring in some more shoes for our shoe drive. More than 1.5 million kids in the U.S. are experiencing homelessness. Souls for Souls helps people fighting poverty and helps the environment by collecting new and gently used shoes. Please consider helping by donating shoes you don't use anymore. You can donate in the boxes in the BD Tradition Hall and GD Glass Box. Our shoe drive ends April 1st, so get those shoes in fast. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Brie and Caroline. 118 shoes have already been donated, and whichever class donates the most will win a Raider Day. The freshmen are currently in the lead, so walk your way to the GD Glass Box and donate. And congrats to our Polar Plunge teams who have already raised over $15,000. Here's Ms. Bueller with the information on how to donate. Two ways we can donate through the website if you go to www.classy.org and the team is, I have to put my glasses on to read that, 399277. Find that Regis Jesuit team, click the donate button, and it'll take you in and you follow the steps. So again, that's one way. And another way is the Venmo at Regis Jesuit and hashtag Polar Plunge. That's a lovely manicure, Miss Bueller. You can also donate Venmo at Regis Jesuit and use hashtag Polar Plunge. Or if you're feeling lazy, scan the barcode on any of the posters around campus to find the page. Now let's send it over to Cole Monroe with an announcement regarding the Polar Plunge fundraiser happening today. Attention Raiders! Myself, along with Duncan McDonald and Sabrina Viserago, will be out on the quad at lunch today and you can pie us in the face for $5. We will be accepting both physical money and Venmo. All the proceeds will go to the Polar Plunge benefiting Special Olympics Colorado. So come on out, pie me in the face, and let's give it up for Special Olympics. You mean like this? <laughs> yep. Hmm, do I really want to spend five dollars to pie Sabrina in the face? Yes. We'll all see you today on the green for more pie in the face. While everyone rested over spring break, the speech and debate was out repping our school. At the 50th Chasta State Tournament, we had four awesome competitors. Brady Oakleaf qualified in national extent. Emma Nicotra was a finalist in congressional debate. Sophia Rivera was a finalist in presiding officer in congressional debate. And Bridget Smith received 11th place in drama. World Youth Day isn't just a day, it's an entire week filled with worship, speakers, mass, prayer, and so much more. Discover magnificent sights, new perspectives, and a connection with God like you've never known before. Join Regis Jesuit High School and millions of other young people from around the world in Lisbon, Portugal for World Youth Day 2023. This experience is open to freshmen and sophomores. See Father Ramirez for information. Your RJ Robotics team is at DU Magnus Arena right now, competing in the first robotics regionals. Good luck, Robotics. Follow our Instagram for updates. Now over to Cole and Manis for your Raider Sports update. What's going on, Raiders? I'm Cole Monroe. And I'm Manis Lorgan. Spring sports are underway. Your boys rugby team went to California for a tournament and met USA rugby player Ilona Marr. Check it out. Who's your favorite female athlete? Oh. What a great way to celebrate International Women's Month. 
Shout out to all our girls sports teams this month especially. Your girls soccer team kicked off the season with a 4-1 win over Cherokee Trail. They play Thunder Ridge on Tuesday. Girls lacrosse will open the season for SHAP on Tuesday in Lou Kellogg Stadium at 5.30. Be there. The girls tennis team is off to a great start with a 6-1 victory over Junction and will take on Ranch next Tuesday. Shout out to Track and Field who will compete in the Broomfield Shootout tomorrow. Go get them, track stars. Boys Lacrosse beat Legend 13-7 in their home opener and take on Kent at home tonight at 6. Your baseball team opened the season yesterday against Mullen and will take on Cherry Creek today. And today, they will be fierce rivals, but did you know, Manis, they played together during fall baseball? I didn't know that. Here's Ben Gonzalez and J.P. Baptiste with the story. The Regis Jesuit baseball team combined with rival Cherry Creek for their fall season. I'll never forget the first practice when like they had a different way of warming up than we did and like both teams did their own thing. So it was kind of this awkward, yeah. whose team is it? And I think in a week that was gone and you know, I don't know, I'll remember we won a tournament um, at game day and the guys dogpiled and it was like, okay, this is still just baseball and right. it's still just kids playing together. Although there is still lots of tension and anticipation for the rivalry against Cherry Creek in the spring, the Creek and Regis boys have become close friends. I think the rivalry is definitely going to still be the same. Everybody kind of has that edge and hates each other when we're playing, but it's good to have friends on the team now so you can kind of talk about it before and after. We talked to head coach and baseball legend Mark Johnson about what the upcoming rivalry game and what it will hold for the players. Not only do you look at each other as friends and you will compete as friends, but you'll also compete for Regis and for Cherry Creek. There's perspective. Um, we both have our each way of playing the game, but I think coming together has really been good for our program. This is J.P. Baptiste and Ben Gonzalez for RJTV. Thanks, J.P. and Ben. And make sure to check out our Instagram page for a story on the 13 home run baseball game last year. Start your afternoon at baseball at 4.15 today as they take on the Bruins. And then head to Lou Kellogg at 6 to see your boys lacrosse team take on Kent Denver. And stop into the boys' gym to catch some sets as your boys' volleyball team plays Rock Canyon. They started this season with an upset of last year's state champion, Douglas County, three sets to two. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Cole and Manis. Have fun at the play tonight, Joey. I will. Have fun hitting Cole in the face with more pie. Oh, I will. Catch you next time, Raiders.